Janice from Nebraska. I know I have written in several times about this. I really hope you can help me out. I have been trying to tell my family there's no need to be scared of Armageddon. I tell, <clears throat> excuse me, I tell them <clears throat> it's the Lord's spiritual war against his enemies, the ones that say there is no God. What I can't explain is it says he will destroy his enemies and I am asked, I don't know, will these people be in the millennium or does the Lord kill them? It's kind of contradicting to me, of me, to say the millennium is for teaching obedience to God and then can't explain what happens to those who are the Lord's enemy. Some people never even had a chance to learn. Now, we're talking uh, spiritual death. That's the, the, the problem when people think of death, they automatically associate that with flesh death. And that's not what many times a spiritual death is the death of the soul, for example. Somebody can be uh, alive in the flesh and be dead spiritually. So you gotta separate spiritually dead from the other. In Revelation chapter 20, uh, verse 11 and the following verses, uh, that's, that's the death of the soul, uh, referred to there as the second death, if you will. Until the white throne judgment, no one is going to be dead, including Satan himself. Uh, 